Now, as you already know that NEO will be starting trading into the Hong Kong Stock Exchange this uh, coming Thursday. So many of the investors are really excited about the fact that NEO, at least now on, it won't be trading only in the New York Stock Ex Exchange, but it will also be trading in the Hong Kong Stock Exchange. Now, just today, guys, we received wonderful news about the Hong Kong Stock Exchange, which is indicating that NEO will register about 60% of their class A shares. Now you'll remember that NEO has got a total of around 1.67 billion of outstanding shares. And out of those 1.67 billion outstanding shares are the class A shares, class B and class C shares. Now out of those 1.67 billion shares, uh, class A shares are about 1.39 billion class b shares being around 128 million shares and of course last but not least as in the screen you'll notice that class c shares are around 148.5 million shares now neo announced today to say that they are going to register about 60 percent of their class a shares meaning that the shares that neo will be listing in Hong Kong or the shares that Neo is talking about to say that they'll be uh, registering 60% uh, of those shares are the class A shares which are around 1.39 billion shares. And just to be exact, I think they are only registering 59% of their class A shares which constitute to about 820 million shares. So from the 10th of March uh, 2022, which is this coming Thursday, NEO uh, registered shares in Hong Kong will be around 820 million, which is something that is truly amazing. Getting to know that 820 million of NEO's class A shares, uh, which are coming by the way from the 1.39 class total class Asia's that NEO has are going to be listed in or registered in Hong Kong is something that is mind-blowing or is something that I think as an investor it ought to excite you because like I said in one of my previous videos when I was talking about this Hong Kong listing it appears that in Hong Kong or there are rumors saying that in the Hong Kong stock exchange there is no shorting of stocks which is something that is truly amazing because this just means that we are going to get a new people or new institutions coming in and buy this new stock which is something that is truly amazing and it has to excite you as a new investor neo it's a company that is doing well it's a company with some strong fundamentals which is just set to do very well and i think that as an investor or as a retail investor it ought to motivate you to probably uh, go in and make sure that your average purchase share price of neo is down so that at least when the stock recovers because it's gonna recover one way or the other there's no way around it because neo is a company like i said with some strong fundamentals so, so this 820 million a uh, class a shares are said to be registered or oh, they were registered today in the hong kong stock exchange uh, just today as i'm saying so this is something that is good news because tomorrow guys we are going to see a neo trading in the hong kong stock exchange and i personally believe that uh, today probably you might have to load the boat on the new stock because we don't know what will happen or we don't know the kind of volumes we are going to get from the hong kong stock exchange which is something that is truly amazing but i personally believe that so many people are gonna come in also and buy shares a lot of them in the hong kong stock exchange which is something that is truly amazing and we're going to get a lot of institutions also coming in uh, to buy this neo uh, hong kong listed shares which is something that is incredible and i believe it has to motivate you to probably if you were thinking of loading the boat probably uh, tomorrow or friday maybe today is the best day because we don't know how the volumes will look like otherwise with all that guys just uh, or oh, this past week saturday you remember that the et7 test drives started and i've already have covered the, the et7 test drives or what uh, neo expects in one of my previous videos and of course one thing that i just want to touch base on the test drives is that it appears that 
in Alibaba, a lot of people or some some consumers are selling their are selling their pre-orders for double or triple the amount they paid that pre-orders buy which is something that is truly amazing because at least as seen on the screen you notice that cvnet post uh, indicated that already they picked up 30 sales in alibaba of uh, consumers or of the people who had bought or make the first payment of reserving or booking their ET7, indicating that, uh, yeah, they are selling them at a very good price. Now, this is something that is amazing because this might just mean that they, there might be a lot of people or we might see a lot of people coming in and wanting to buy this ET7 or make sure that when the first badge comes out, they get the ET7 car, which is something that is truly amazing. This just has to show you that there's a lot of demand into this car. There is a lot of demand on the ET7, which is why uh, Edison Yu from Deutsche Bank also, like I always say, predicted that we might see Neo delivering over uh, 60,000 of this ET7. Like I always say, both these two new sedans that NEO will launch this year, they will have some serious uh, demand in terms of sales because a lot of people are just waiting to buy uh, or are just waiting to get their hands on those cars. The, this car, especially the ET5, I believe that it will sell like cupcakes because it is a car which is just said to do very well. And also the ET7, like I said, the fact that Deutsche Bank believes that at least Neo will sell 60,000 of these just this year is something that I think as a retail investor, it has to motivate you to probably stay long on to this Neo stock. Now, Neo, as I've said, it's a company that is doing so well and it's a company which is just said to do very well ignore those uh, funny posts of people indicating that neo it, it probably it's going down the drain it has done its utmost best neo it's a company which is just said to do very well i mean this coming month oh uh, for, uh, in april neo will be launching all their serious uh, news of saying neo will be launching their new suv called the es7 which is something that is truly amazing and i believe uh, that it will also sort of like revive the stock because uh, you will know that of course there were some rumors here and they're indicating that neo's suvs uh, technology uh, on their old suvs are is outdated now with the new suv also coming i definitely think that it will definitely attract a lot of people those ones who like these uh, suvs which is something that is truly amazing otherwise with all that guys i just thought i should just do this quick video about neo and let you know what you ought to expect or what neo is said to do with their hong kong uh, listing and also the, the latest developments around the ET7. Otherwise, with all that, guys, I make tons and tons of stock market investing videos. And if you think that this video was amazing, please don't forget to hit that like button. If you are new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click or press that notification bell so that YouTube can notify you every time I release a video. Otherwise, that's all from me. And I wish you nothing but the best in your stock market investing journey. And before you load the boat on the new stock, please do make sure that you do your own due diligence so that at least you can be comfortable when you are investing into this stock. Otherwise, that's all from me. And God bless you all.